Hydraulic and Electrical Troubleshooting Exercise. This is the control interface of the landing gear system of an aircraft simulated in Automation Studio. The interface includes an animated drawing of the aircraft. It also shows the main landing gear lever that extends and retracts the landing gear as well as the status lights that show the state of the landing gear inside of the cockpit and an emergency assembly that would force the extension of the landing gear through an emergency electrical pump in case the main controls stop working correctly. The actuation of the landing gear is done through a hydraulic circuit. The hydraulic circuit can be displayed by clicking on the hydraulic link in the red arrow below. The main pump goes through the main extend and retract valve that controls the extension and retraction of each of the three main actuators. There is also a main electrical pump assembly that will cut off the main controls and force fluid directly into each of the cylinders in case there is a problem with the main system. The controls between the cockpit and the hydraulic system are relayed via an electrical diagram which is also displayed when you click on the electrical link below. The electrical components are grouped in three categories. The main retract and extend solenoid coils. The green and yellow status lights that are displayed in the cockpit. And the emergency pump solenoid and emergency pump light also displayed in the cockpit. These output components are powered by a 28 volt DC power source. And the power is relayed through the main switches, the landing gear lever and the emergency extend switch, as well as through auxiliary relays that allow you to cut and open the circuit. Let's examine the normal operation of the landing gear system. Clicking on the main landing gear lever will turn on the main contacts of the landing gear switch, sending power to the extend solenoid, which will slide the main valve into the extend position, sending fluid to the actuators. Clicking on the landing gear switch again will do the exact opposite by sending power to the retract solenoid, putting the main valve in the retract position, forcing all three cylinders to retract. With the emergency extend, pulling the emergency extend lever will send power to the electrical pump coil, which will turn on the emergency assembly, cutting off the main hydraulic power and sending fluid directly into the chamber of each of the cylinders. Now let's examine how the system behaves if the hydraulic system has a failure. Double click on the left cylinder and go to the troubleshooting branch. The list of possible failures is shown. Let's select the jam piston failure and activate it by clicking the failure activated checkbox. If we run the simulation and try to extend the landing gear, notice how the left landing gear is not extending and the left landing gear light is not turning on. The hydraulic circuit also shows that the left cylinder has not moved. We can further examine what happens in the hydraulic system by using the set of troubleshooting tools available in the simulation tab. We can display the hydraulic tester and place probes in the system by simply dragging them and dropping them onto the nodes we wish to probe. We can see that there is a pressure differential of 100 bars between the piston side and the rod side, so the cylinder should move. 
Let's also examine if there is flow inside of the cylinder. A disconnection tool is available which allows us to select a line and simply unhook it. Then we can place the probes in series with that input line and change the cracking pressure of our hydraulic tester. Notice there is still no flow, which is consistent with the failure of a jammed piston. Now that we know that the piston is jammed, we can choose a repair tool that will allow us to repair that cylinder. When we click on it, a list of possible failures is displayed. Let's replace the whole component which will eliminate all possible failures. Notice how the cylinder now behaves correctly. We can now turn off the hydraulic tester and reconnect all the lines, which will take us back to the correct state of the system. Also notice how on the interface the left landing gear is now extended and the left landing gear light is now on. Now let's examine a realistic situation where the aircraft has a problem and we need to troubleshoot it without the visual animation in the electrical circuit. Notice how when the landing gear is fully extended the nose light does not come on. Let's use the electrical troubleshooting tools. We can display a multimeter and place the multimeter in voltage measurement mode. Let's place the probes in the circuit and examine what type of voltage is getting to our center light. There is voltage at one port of the light. Let's check if we have ground on the other side. It seems there is no ground on the other end. Let's examine the continuity of this connection. We need to disconnect the wires and place our multimeter in the ohm measurement mode. If we place our probes at both extremities of that connection, we can see there is no continuity. Let's move the probe all the way to the middle of that connection, and we can see that there is still no continuity. This means that the wire in this section right here is cut. We can also use a repair tool and click on that wire which will give us a list of possible failures on that wire. In this case we want to completely replace the wire so we will select the all failures and apply. Now notice how the ohm reading shows us that the wire is no longer cut so we can disconnect the probes and reconnect all the wires in the circuit. And now we can see that the nose light is back on.